Hmm. Need to shave my face. <laughs> I missed a spot. Be right back. All right, much better. Um, hi, mermaids. Welcome back to another video on my channel. <laughs> I'm sure you guys already know what I'm going to talk about. <laughs> my camera keeps being a little biatch and wanting to shut off on me and... No ma'am. How are y'all doing? I hope everyone out there is doing well in light of everything that is happening in our world. Um, I wanted to come on here because I... I'm having kind of a rough day. <laughs> it's my day off and I'm off tomorrow and then I go back to work on Tuesday. And let me tell you, the past three days have been grueling. They have been rough. For those of y'all who do not know me, I'm Danny. Welcome to my channel. Cheers to you. I am a makeup lover, makeup junkie, and trans woman from Minnesota, and I record videos every single week. I do a lot of makeup tutorials, uh, makeup looks, reviews, things of that nature. So if you would like to subscribe to my channel, the button will be down below. Now more than ever, I would greatly appreciate your patronage and, well, your viewership, not patronage. <laughs> and, um, you know, your support. I'm just, I'm having a hard time processing my thoughts right now and putting them into words. Um, the past few days have been really difficult. I work at a drugstore and I work as a beauty consultant at my drugstore. And um, it's just a lot happening because of obviously the that is now in my state and we're just um, doing the best we can. But that's not what this video is about. In this video today, as a way for me to just let go of my anxiety and focus on something more productive, I am going to be doing a makeup tutorial. Despite all of the craziness that's been happening, something really wonderful happened to me uh, a couple days ago. Shut up, dog. Over the past few weeks, I have been in contact with the influencer relations part of Ulta Beauty, and they were really, really awesome and sent me a box of just packed full of stuff from various brands. And so in this video today, <laughs> I am going to be putting some of these brand new things to use and showcasing some of the products that I received. So if you want to see that, then just keep watching. And really quickly, here is a glance at the box. As you can see, she is fully packed. And then I have more stuff on my table in front of me here. And before I get started, I just want to give the influencer relations people at Ulta Beauty a huge shout out. This was incredibly generous and caught me completely off guard. One of their people I have been in contact with on Instagram off and on for the past like week or two now and I, I absolutely love her. So shout out to you Evelyn. Um, I'm glad to be a new friend of yours. Uh, and I think you're wonderful. And everybody at the Influencer Relations Department of Ulta Beauty, thank you so, so much for this. This was incredibly generous, and I am incredibly grateful for all of these products that you sent my way, and I will be putting them to good use. Trust. Um, which is what we're going to be doing in this video today. I am going to be showcasing some of the products that I have received in this box, such as this, which is the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. I have a NARS Blush and Orgasm. I have a Becca Moonstone Highlighter, which I'm so excited about. A new mascara from uh, Tarte, their Man Eater mascara. Hashtag can relate. I used to be a man eater back in the day, but we have moved on. And now I just eat one man in particular, and that's that's my boo thing. 
Um, I got some Kylie here. I've got some new brushes to try from It Cosmetics. They sent over um, Your Superheroes uh, full size six piece face and eye travel brush set, which comes in this gorgeous little pouch that kind of unfolds. And I just dropped some of them. I'm working on my professionalism, I promise. <laughs> Oh, only one dropped out, and that's this one. Which, these brushes have metal handles, by the way, and I love that. I've got a juice-infused lip oil here. I've got the Amarizi and Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, which last night I did plan this while I was a little tipsy. <laughs> So yeah, um, I'm going to zoom you in and we will get started on the eyes and then I'll move over to the rest of the face stuff. All right, everybody. Hi. Welcome to my zoomed in face. Um, really quickly, let me show you the close up of these brushes. So you get six brushes. There is a powder brush, which is more flat top, kind of kabuki style brush. This I would imagine would be really great for foundation or um, bronzing the skin. There's this guy, which I'm probably going to use just in a moment. And this is a really nice blending brush. You've got a double-ended eyebrow brush right here, or you could use this side in particular to apply like your gel or cream or liquid liners or smudge a shadow on the lash line. Then we have a really cool concealer brush. There's this really awesome, kind of fluffy, but still like a paddle-shaped eyeshadow brush, which you could also use for concealer, I would assume, um, or even laying down a base. And there is a foundation brush, like a traditional, like paddle-shaped foundation brush. Comes in a beautiful pouch really sturdy, really well made. Love the ferrules and the handles on this. Like they're really sturdy as you saw earlier. <laughs> it says It Cosmetics on the front. So I know I'm going to use these two for sure and I'm probably going to use this one as well so I'm just going to put those on my table here. That's a close-up of the Amarizi palette and I'm sure all of y'all have seen swatches of this so there's not really any point in me doing swatches. I did play in this a little bit last night and I am super impressed with the quality of this palette. This shade in particular, Barb, that is going on my lids today. And as always with any Anastasia palette you get this double-ended brush here. I do really enjoy these brushes and I have like several of them now. And I do think the quality of them is pretty decent. So let's see. What am I going to start with? I think I'm going to do more of a pink kind of look because you can go in many different directions in this palette. You could go purple, you could go pink, you could do like kind of like a bluer type look with this shade right here which is Leo. Um, but I'm going to use most of the pinks in the palette. The first shade I'm going to dip into is this one which is called Yugo and I don't know the significance behind that name. I don't really follow I'm Reezy that close, so my apologies if I'm mispronouncing any of the names. And from using this shade last night, I can tell you that this is a hella pigmented shade. And it has more of a purpley kind of undertone to it, but it's definitely more on the brown side. And then I'm also going to head up my inner third of my lid. And with that same shade, I'm just blending those two sides up towards the eyebrow. This is going to be a very blown out, smoky, pink look. And I don't think I said the brush that I'm using. This is a Morphe M514, which I'm quite fond of, but as of recent, I've noticed this brush has been kind of shedding. I'm doing this weird kind of like splaying kind of thing. Anyway, I usually just 
pull off the excess hairs. I know you probably shouldn't do that, but this brush is literally like $6. So I'm not too heartbroken over, over it if I end up messing up the brush. Yeah, the shade has a very distinctive kind of plummy undertone to it. I do really enjoy this. And it's kind of unexpected because in the pictures that I've seen of this palette, it looks like a straight up just matte brown with like a cool tone to it. But in person, it definitely looks more purple. And I'm just packing on more just to intensify the crease. And then with the same brush, I'm just gonna dive into this matte black shade called BK. I'm concentrating this mainly just on the lid and placing it over top of where I put Yugo. That is a really deep black. Woo! <laughs> and it's very easy to use. Love it. Okay, so the next shade that I'm gonna take is this one right here. And this one is the shade Simza, Samza. I don't know how you pronounce it. Sorry, a car just went by. <laughs> I'm mainly just packing that around the edge of where this little window or space is, because it's kind of like a little bit of like a spotlight that we're doing. Well, a lot like a spotlight. <laughs> You know what I mean. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Don't worry too much about blending this just yet. We're going to get to that part. Just mainly placing that color right now. Beautiful. And now with my little It Cosmetics blending brush, I'm just going to start to blend those edges. And if you need to, go back into some of that Yugo shade, which is that deep brown. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into this shade right here, which is Reezy. And I'm just picking that up on a JH41 brush from Morphe. and I'm laying it down in that little window that I created in the center. And this is such a pretty shade, oh my god. I love it. Not usually a fan of pink eyeshadow, but this, this is it. Like, this is the one. And then above that, we're gonna take, and then above that, <laughs> and then above that, I'm gonna take this shade, which is Barb. Barb. There's a, um, a drag queen in Minneapolis who I love and her name is Barb. <laughs> and shout out to you, Barb, if you're watching this. I fucking love you so, so much. And I'm gonna put that on with a MAC 221 brush. Ooh, and this one's more glittery. Ooh. Uh. <sighs> this has such a pretty shift to it. Oh, my goodness. Do you see that? It's like pink, but then it shines greeny gold or teal. I can't tell. It's beautiful though. That is like a mermaid shade, honey. Yes, I love this. Hands down, one of the best shades that I've used in quite some time. Hello. And then I'm gonna go back into that other blending brush that has a mixture of Yugo and BK left on it. And I'm just gonna blend those edges of where Barb is. Such a pretty glitter in that one. I love it. And then let's see, in the inner corner, I'm gonna take this shade, which is Anastasia. And that's a beautiful shade too. Ooh, I'm using a Refer 03 brush, by the way. On the lower lash line, we're gonna go back into Simsa, and I'm just using a MAC 218 
to apply that. And then on the outskirts of the lower lash line, I'm going to dip back into the shade Yugo and just really smoke out the outer portion of that lash line. And then towards the beginning right here, I'm going to dip into the shade Cupcake. And oh my god. Is this shade beautiful or what? Stunting, honey. Barely tapping into Semza again, which is that matte purple with the It Cosmetics brush. And I'm just gonna smoke out the lower lash line just a little bit more because I want a little bit more of that Semza shade to be present. Should I do this? Let's do it. I'm gonna use this ColourPop liner and it's in the shade Unts, U-N-T-Z. Really like the contrast that that just gave. We're gonna try this Man Eater Mascara. Love the packaging on this. This is my first time dipping into a Tarte mascara and that is what the brush looks like it's a very chunky plasticky looking brush which i like that ain't half bad kind of reminds me a lot of an extreme dimension lash from mac All right, I like this a lot. I like the brush on it. It really does a great job of capturing every single lash. All right, so now that we're at this place, I'm gonna go off camera, do this side, and I'm gonna do my base makeup since I don't have like a brand new foundation or concealer to try. And I will come back and we will plan some more things. So be right back. All right, you guys, and this is where we are at. So far, I freaking love that palette. It is bomb. We're gonna move on to the rest of the face. I have applied my foundation. I have applied my concealer, my bronzer, my powder, powders. I use multiple powders. Um, and now I am ready to dip into orgasm. I am super late to the game with this blush. I have never tried it before. I know. And that is the packaging. And there is the shade. I did swatch it last night, so I have put my finger in it. And I'm gonna use this brush from the brush set from IT. And this is the Unstoppable Powder Brush. I don't know if I mentioned the name of the eyeshadow brush that I used. It is called the Effortless Crease Brush. I like a lot of blush, for real. So I tend to really just blush up my face a lot. Okay, okay. As you can see, it is definitely giving me a glow. It's really pretty. Let's put a little bit right here. All right, now we're ready to dip into Moonstone from Becca. I am really excited about this as well. I've never tried a Becca product, so this is like another first time for me. Love the packaging. And I don't know if you can tell that on the back, there's a little pinhole where you can actually pop the pan out. So this might be like a magnetic compact that you can just put another powder into. It's a super soft powder, and I love that color. So I think it's gonna be perfect for me. Yeah, I think that's gonna look good. Um, let me get a different brush and we will apply some of this. Gonna go in with my Morphe M501 brush. And I'm mainly just concentrating this on the upper part of my cheek. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Ooh. 
Oh, that is beautiful. Okay. It's not a glittery highlighter at all, which I'm excited about because it gives like a really nice kind of soft focus glow to the skin. Let's put some on my chinny chin chin. I'm obsessed with this. This is beautiful. Love it. I am going to treasure that. My nose is starting to do that thing again. So I think the next thing that I'm gonna blah, 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 blah. the next thing that I'm going to apply is the Kylie Jenner liquid lipstick. This is the Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the shade Boy Bye, and this is also another first timer for me. I have never tried a Kylie Jenner product, so that is what the liquid lipstick looks like. Looks like it's gonna be a color that is right up my alley, and let's see. It has a great smell to it. I love the smell. It smells like dessert. This is a Danny color. Feels very comfortable on the lips. It doesn't feel dry at all. I'm gonna wait a couple of seconds for it to fully set. And then I think I'm going to apply this um, juice infused lip oil from the Ulta Beauty brand. My lips look so juicy. Ow. Love this so, so much. Like, seriously, this is like one of the first lip oils I've ever tried. I love the consistency of it. It's not tacky or sticky. It just feels really hydrating and nourishing. So I might have to go to Ulta and pick up a few more of these if they make different ones, because I really like this a lot. It's like the perfect thing to throw in your bag and just reapply throughout the day. Mm. Okay, and then the last thing that I'm going to do is set my makeup so that it stays on all day. This is the all-nighter. Well, all day, all night. <laughs> this is the long-lasting makeup setting spray from Urban Decay. It has a 16-hour setting wear time so it prolongs your makeup. I believe this is in partnership with the brand Scandinavia, which they are known for their setting sprays. It says that this uh, setting spray is supposed to give you smoother looking skin and vibrant makeup that lasts all day. And it also says on the front, temperature control technology. So I really like that. And let me look at my face really quick. Ooh, that did a really good job of like melding everything together. Like my skin looks beautiful. I don't know about you, but I am feeling myself. Pretty much all of the stuff that I use today, I am in love with. The Omrezy eyeshadow palette, holy shit. This like blew me away. Um, in particular, that barb shade, living. Uh, the highlighter, the blush, the setting spray, the mascara, the lip oil, the Kylie liquid lipstick. I'm like, feeling all of the products that I tried today. And I'm loving the brushes too. I'm just like so happy right now. <laughs> this was this was something that I really needed to do today. Like honestly, I needed to sit down, play a new makeup, forget about the world for a few hours and just unwind and relax. Makeup is like my zen. It is like my, my happy place, my zen mode. It is my reprieve from the world, and right now the world is, ugh. Um, so that does it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate you so, so much. And I just want to end this video by saying, let's all hang in there. Um, it's going to be a long haul, but we will get through it. We will persevere. Um, obviously, if you can 
stay at home. If you have the ability to do that, just stay at home and watch YouTube and Netflix. Now is a good time to uh, get in touch with the people that matter to you most and call relatives that you haven't talked to for a while. Call your family, let them know that you love them. Just keep in touch with the people that matter to you most and check in on them, especially the more elderly members of our society. I think now more than ever, we just need to look out for one another and I feel like together we will get through this. So uh, thanks again for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic day wherever you are. And Italy, I am thinking about you guys. You are in my thoughts. I'm sending you guys well wishes. Um, everyone else out there affected by this I am sending you well wishes to stay healthy. Thank you again to everyone at Ulta Beauty for sending me all of these lovely products to try out today. I am still so shook. And with that said, I'm gonna go. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. And wash your damn hands.